Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to be making some really beautiful treble clef bracelets. And I want to thank all the members of the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club who gave me some feedback on this design. And I came up with three finished bracelets that look really cute. So I got a lot of amazing feedback in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook for this design. So here's the sort of sample that I posted a photo of. And I got a lot of feedback on um, whether to use the beads and the style. So this one has the bead attached. And I kind of used that idea to create this piece, which still has the curved edge with the with the bead but then I added a little loop underneath so it's going to hang a little bit better and then for people that want a classic design here's just the regular treble clef no bead and a curved kind of uh, edge this one is straight down but I added the bead at the bottom here so this that was the middle one I added a little bead in there so we're going to try a bracelet with that and then this one is the idea of the straight down treble clef but then little dangling beads in between each link. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools. You're going to need 20 gauge wire. I have four and six millimeter miracle beads. If you're making a bracelet you'll need a clasp and little jump rings to attach the links. Now you can also use a template for the treble clef. This is one that I made myself with a block of wood or you can freehand them. So we'll start with the simple treble clef with no bead and I'm just going to place my wire on the template and hold it down so we have one little screw here and we're going to bring it up and then just down around that one and then around this one. This is actually a little uh, small crow bead so I've glued the bead onto a nail just to make it a little bit of a bigger curve. So this is sort of your basic shape that you want. You'll see this loop goes to the back. So if we flip it over, this is sort of beginning to look like the treble clef. And I do have other tutorials on how to make the treble clef, which I'll link up in the description. So we're just going to go in there and that ends up overlapping there. And then we want to kind of wiggle this around so this part is flat, bring that in. And then we just want to make sure that's centered and then bring this around to the back, okay? Then flip it, give it a little clip in here and use your flat pliers to push it in so there's no little pokey end sticking out. So there's the treble clef and then you need a little loop that you're going to put your jump ring into. And I actually tried making this loop a little bigger and then the jump ring goes, kind of hangs underneath. That's the way I initially did it with the one with the bead, but I've kind of adjusted those designs a little bit. But let's do it this way and then we'll stick the jump ring in there and it'll be a little bit asymmetrical, but that's okay. So we're just going to bring this to the back and clip that so there's enough to push over. And then the same thing, we're just going to take this end and stick it in there so it's actually like nice and securely in there and flush. So the idea now is you're going to make a bunch of these and then what you would do is take this here. So you have two. So we're going to take the jump ring and we're going to open it up. Just take your treble clef and put the loop in there and then take the other one and make sure it's the same direction. Put it on the jump ring and then we'll close the jump ring and then depending on the size of your wrist, you're going to make enough to go around your wrist. So that's the beginning of it there. So I have all the treble clefts looped together here. So all we have to do is add a clasp. So to one end, I'm going to take a jump ring, attach it there and get this lobster clasp. You can use any kind of clasp that you like. And we're going to close that up and then on the other end 
you could attach with a jump ring or I have this split ring that you can actually just open up and uh, attach directly on the end, other end of the treble clef. So, I'm gonna... so I'll just open up the split ring and just slide it on there. It's like a little tiny key ring. Put it on there and there we have our super cute and simple wire treble clef bracelet. It's probably a little tiny, but it would fit me because I have a small wrist. So to do the next one with the bead, I'm going to also use the template. We're going to leave a little bit of extra up here. And sometimes I just do a bunch with one long wire or you can cut the wires the right, uh, the right size. Depending on how big your treble clef are going to be, you'll probably need about a five or six inches of uh, wire. And we're just going to go around here to do the basic shape. Okay, just right around like we did the first one. So there's your basic shape for the treble clef. And then we just flip it around. It actually, um, it's a little finicky to, to use one long piece of wire, but the reason I like doing that is because there's less waste with the wire because what you do is once you have it in this position, you bend it around to finish off the end and then you cut it flush here and then you start with the next one. So you've really wasted a lot less wire and uh, it's it can be good. I wouldn't uh, do a too long piece, but maybe a foot or two. Okay, so here's your basic shape for the treble club. And then what we want to do is do a little loop underneath. So that will be somewhere to attach the jump ring. And so we take our round pliers and just bring it around. You could either use these uh, bigger round pliers or if you want to use your smaller ones and then just hold it a little up from the end so it's not so the loop's not too small. Okay, so we've done our little loop. That's where we're going to attach the jump ring. Okay, and then we're just going to bring this up. Okay, so that's our basic shape. And then we'll get our bead. For this one, I'm using the four millimeter size miracle beads. And you guys all know I love miracle beads. I'll link up where you can buy those below. I buy them on Etsy and I have a place that has free shipping, so it's great. So we're gonna stick the bead there and then wind this around. So hold it with your thumb and your finger and then wind the wire around to the front of the bead. Okay, around to the front and then to the back. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it and wind it around to the back. This is just to make the end a little more discreet. So we're going to wind it all the way around to the back and then we will clip the end as close as you can. That's why it's good to use the pointy cutters and what you want to do with that pointy end then is just tuck it in with your flat pliers. Okay, so that way it's smooth. So there we have that one. We have two like that. And then we'll get our jump ring. Pick this one up. Put it in the loop. Make sure this one's going the same direction. Stick it on there. And close up the loop. And then as we did for the first one, we're going to make more links and attach them all together. So here's the finished bracelet with all the beads. It's turned out really nicely. And instead of putting the split ring directly on the end, I'm actually going to attach it with a jump ring. And if you find you need like extra loops to make the bracelet bigger, you can either make another treble clef or just add a few little loops. And you can also buy extender chains too. So here's our beautiful little treble clef bracelet with the beads. So the last design is the treble clef with the straight end. So you can either do it uh, with no bead on it and put little beads in between the links, or you can put a bead directly on the treble clef. I find this one a little bit long, but you, I'll show you how to do both ways. So again, we're gonna use the template and we are going to stick this on here. Okay, we'll just leave it down a couple of inches and we'll just form, we won't use this bottom 
a loop here because we don't need it curved. We're just going to go all the way around like we did before, remove it, and then flip it other way around. Hold these here. This is just so we keep the loop at the top. It doesn't get distorted. Okay, that gets centered on there and uh, wiggle it a bit so this part's flat-ish. Make sure it's centered, hold it tightly, bring it around and clip the end there. And then we're going to squish it down so it's in shape. So if you're not doing the bead, we'll just take our larger round pliers and bend this a bit at a 45 degree angle. Bring this around. Okay, bring it around either to the front or back. I don't know that it really matters. Hold that there. And then with your flat pliers, hold it around. Okay, and you can wind it around once or twice, whatever you like the look of. And we're going to clip this. As you see, we have a lot of options with this project. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. So that's our simple without the without the um, bead. And then if we want to do one with the bead, we'll just take a piece. Okay, it's probably about five-ish inches. But like I said, you can start with a long wire and make a few at once. And just sticking this straight down. Okay, this is going to be about halfway from there and bring it around the top nail around here okay like that you might be able to do this on the artistic wire uh, jig i haven't checked to see uh, it's a little restrictive with the position that you can put the pegs in but it might work so hold this here push it back again center it and wiggle that around okay if you do want to learn how to make the jigs I think I made one on a live stream and I definitely have a, a module in my wire art course that shows how to make them so I'll see what I can link up below in the description to help you out with that it's basically sticking a few nails in a piece of wood and if the nails aren't big enough you can glue beads on top or buttons or you can use screws so we're going to stick that here okay and then what we would want to do is stick a little bead in there i would use the four millimeter size so we'll stick the four millimeter size on there because you don't want it too big okay and we don't want it like jammed up against there it doesn't look much like a treble clef so what we'll want to do is Okay, hold it like this. Make sure you have a little bit of space in there. And then hold this below here. So there's going to be a little space above and we'll just maybe an eighth of an inch or something. And then we want to bend this, okay, to there and make the round thing again. Okay, make it around. So this is going to be where your jump ring goes in. And then let's move this out of the way. Hold this in place and do a full turn around, okay? And then so it doesn't like flip up a bit like that, what I want to do is just give it a little bit of a curve here and bend, wind it around again. So this is tricky. You're going to hold it with your thumb and your finger if you need to help it, so like if you find your wire stiff and you need to help it, just get your round pliers under there and just give it a little head start. Okay, and then we're going to hold this, bring it around. It definitely is finicky, but you'll get the hang of it. And if you need something to grip this with, you can grip it with the pliers and then just wind that around on top. So once or twice, depending on know what you like the look of and then we'll give it a little clip and this is where you have to push the end in so it's not pokey if you find it's pushed up a little too much you can just take this and squeeze it down a bit so it's a little more pushed down there you go a little tricky but 
you can get it. Okay, and then there you have the bead and it leaves a little bit of space there. And that looks really cute like that. So then to put it together, what you could do is just attach like one to the next like this. But I don't love this one as much. I find these a little bit long. So I'm not gonna do a finished bracelet like that. But what I'm going to do here is take these together and put a little loop in between them. So for that, I do have a, a tutorial that I did. I think it was a Tip Tuesday where I showed how to make these little bead links. So this is what we're gonna to use to attach the treble clefts. So we'll take a piece of wire and you wanna make sure you do a flush cut so it's just nice and flush. Bring your round pliers around, okay? And you want this to be a good size, this loops, because you want it to be able to wiggle around quite a bit. So we've made our one loop here. And then for this, in between, I want to use bigger beads. So I'm using six millimeter miracle beads. And so that is going to look like that. And we'll cut this to about half an inch. Okay. And round pliers again. These are my bigger round pliers. You could use the big ones or the small ones. And you bend it back. And then you bring this in, okay? But before you close it, then you're gonna take your treble clef with the, uh, with the little flat end there, and we'll just stick that in there. Close it up. Okay, make sure it's nice and closed, almost sticking right in the hole. And we have the other one, the other flat, like straight one. So what we want to do is we're going to open up this loop, okay? And we want to make sure these are the same direction. So let's just bend it a little bit, rotate it. So this, these are all like parallel. And then we're going to open this one up, okay? And check and see what direction your treble clef is in, because we want it to be in the same direction and then stick your treble clef on there okay and close it up again this one's really cute i like it with the bead in between i know some of you guys in the facebook group suggested to do that so it's going to look like that and then we'll just continue until it's done so here's the finished bracelet i put it together with the lobster clasp and the split ring and so now we can compare the the three designs so we have the one with the with the little uh, bead on the treble clef then we have this one with the beads in between the treble clefs and we have this one that's just the treble clefs and you'll see they kind of flip around and stuff but basically they are all the right direction so we'll just slide them down there and they're just really beautiful, simple kind of looking designs. And once you get the hang of the treble clef, it'll be easy to make. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. It's a group where we share all kinds of our photos of our creations and inspiration for each other. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook, where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for all the members of the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club who gave me such great feedback on this design, and we'll see you the next time.